Ida for calling my mom when my husband refused to listen to me. I, 26F, recently moved into my first home. I am also four months pregnant with our first baby. The pregnancy has been very hard. I have horrible morning sickness. It reached a really bad point where I passed out hit my head and my doctor admitted me to the hospital for a week. When I got home my husband allowed his brother's family to move into two of our three bedrooms. They were evicted I don't know why. One room was my office was tossed into our room papers everywhere. The house was a complete wreck. Trash, dirty clothes, used diapers. I started to cry. It was like a light flipped my husband was no longer the same. My husband told me it wasn't that bad. My reply was fine then you should have the house cleaned up before I wake up. Completely exhausted I fell asleep for 4 HRS. I woke up and went to get a drink of water. I couldn't every. Glass we own is scattered around the house. They didn't clean a single thing. I passive aggressively started to pick up the dirty dishes and washed them. The following morning. I was trying my best to work when their kids were crying non-stop. Banging on the walls so on. Their mom was in her room for hours ignoring them. When my husband came home. He was upset with me over how I didn't make his brother's wife feel welcome in our home. By helping with their kids when she was tired. Then continued to complain how nothing was done while he was at work all day in the house. Yep the same one he didn't clean. That lead to a fight where I told him. I am too sick to have company and they need to leave. To which he replied they are his family and he won't kick them out. I started to cry again. I was beyond frustrated, exhausted, I physically couldn't do it anymore. I called my mom asking if I could come stay with her. Telling her the whole story in front of my husband. Who at this point was completely shocked, angry, also I could tell he wasn't sure what to do. My mom came with my brothers, I have three older brothers. My mom super angry told my husband. Since your family can stay so can we. My mom quickly took charge. I was sent to bed. My brothers started cleaning complaining loudly at how disgusting my BIL family is. Along with what a horrible husband my husband is for putting me through this while I am sick. I got a text message from my mill for calling me an A for not helping my husband clean up the house and putting my BIL in an uncomfortable position by having my mom boss him around. Edited to add update, when my mill showed up she was super angry outside. I could hear. Shouting but, couldn't understand what was said. Once inside she was shocked. My house looked really bad. My BIL lied to her about what happened. My mill quickly started to help my mom in the bossing mode. My house is not just cleaned but deep cleaned. My BIL and his kids are now staying with mill. She didn't know about the eviction. My in-laws helped them financially a couple of months ago. My mill was not happy about it. Sil refused to come out of the bedroom. She would scream through the door but that was about it until her family came to pick her up. Last little bit. I did talk to my husband. He seemed very remorseful. I asked for some space he is staying at a hotel. He asked to come by and talk to me tonight. My mom and dad are here. Both moms felt like I should have someone here since I am sick. Both moms have set up a meal plan. Where they trade off who will bring in dinner. It was my meal idea. Thank you for all your advice. I truly appreciate it. Talk with husband, summed up since it lasted 4 HRS. It was a hard talk. He is remorseful. BIL was only supposed to stay for a couple of nights. Then leave originally he thought they would be gone before I got home. He said he is tired and emotionally upset himself. When I originally passed out. My husband left to help a friend move. He came home and found me. He said he has no idea how long I was on the floor hurt. He was originally scared I had died. Since then he has had nightmares. On top of dealing with his family drama. He admitted to dumping his frustration onto me. When it's not my fault. He begged me for another chance. The next steps. We are still separated. He plans on staying at my brother house in his casita. We are going to go to marriage counseling and individual counseling. He asked if he could come when the home health nurse comes each night and to my DR's appointments. I agreed to that. Update on BIL, his wife admitted to having an affair. She told him she got married too soon and doesn't want the responsibilities of being a mom anymore. I am not sure what will happen with him and his kids but, I am shocked that she feels this way especially with her kids. Obligatory NTA. Also just cause at this point in the saga I have to ask, where is your husband in all of this at this point? 
Kinda hoping Mill has also stomped down his behaviors. NTA so while you are in hospital, your husband without even asking you moves in his brother's family. Wow. His family, he cleans. I'd be making him attend some therapy sessions because he needs a huge wake-up call. Your mom is mom of the year. So are your brothers. Lovely problem solving. Husband won't take care of your needs needs btw not wants. Rest is a need. Clean dishes to eat off is a need. I officially love your mother NTA. Please update us, I want to know more. How did your husband's family react to the aggressive cleaning? Were they at least embarrassed? Did they stay or magically find another place to live? I'm so invested. NTA. Once you heard him say sorry to your mom did you tell anyone what your mill texted you? I would out her so fast to your mom and she if she apologizes. I want your mom to adopt me. I'll be a cool stepsis, I swear. Your mom sounds like an awesome problem solver. End number X200B, NTA. Your husband though, wow. Talk about kicking someone when they're down. She's sick, she's pregnant with my baby, she just got out of the hospital, this seems like a good time to have rude, boorish house guests for her to cook for and clean up after. Seriously? This was his time to show you that he's got your back, he's your support system. What does he do? Exactly the opposite of that. He increases your workload and decreases your comfort. That guy, if he doesn't do a major apology and change of behavior, you'll be a lot better off without him. Do you really want to sign on for a whole family of babies to feed and clean up after? I think just the one baby will be plenty. Wait. Your mill called. To fuss at you for involving your mother. There's this kettle thing. NTA 1000%. But house guests in a shared home require two yeses and only one no. Both of you agree or it shouldn't happen. Your husband has treated you abominably. I'm not sure I could deal with that honestly. Can you go stay W your mom? NTA, I'm usually not a fan of bringing family members into spouse arguments. But he really didn't give you any choice. Your husband is an awe, so are his siblings for not being good guests. I would imagine if someone pregnant hosts me after being evicted I would do anything to make that person comfortable. Equals 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 from what I read, NTA but info, who owns the house. It's so odd that your husband brought his family without asking you. He was upset with me over how I didn't make his brother's wife feel welcome in our home. Also doesn't make you feel welcome in your own home NTA. Your MIL took your husband's side just out of nepotism, if I had to guess. Also they can't take what they dish out. NTA also, since BIL and his family are living with you rent free, the least they should do while you are pregnant and ill is make your life easier, not harder. They should be cooking meals and cleaning so you can rest. OP, have you been diagnosed with hyperemesis gravitarium? If not, get your OB to do so if possible. You will need care for a high risk pregnancy. Edit, corrected misspellings, wink with tongue sticking out. Hmm. <clears throat> I'm Latino. This sounds like a Latin family dynamic thing going on here, am I right in assuming this? But also, NTA. I mean this in the nicest way possible, please start prepping for divorce. Your husband moved in people to the home without consulting with you first. He is prioritizing their needs over the needs of his wife and unborn child. NTA. From what I can hear he is hard at work with my brothers. From the sounds of it scrubbing the guest toilet. Yes he did. I can hear my husband saying I'm sorry over and over again to my mom. Literally this made my heart too happy. More often than I'd think is Norma Op's own family takes the asshole's side I'm glad to see how well hers came through. NTA. One important thing mom did is not bring OP home to her house but instead move in. OP needs to not seed the house while pregnant. She needs to not move out until a lawyer gives her a green light edit, unless situation becomes dangerous slash escalates. When I was in the hospital the doctor called it something. I was still hazy from hitting my head. So I have to ask again. I do know he is super concerned that I lost 40 pounds. I am supposed to start fours at home but I am waiting for my insurance. The biggest problem is I am tired I feel like I have no strength at all. I feel shaky as I stand up and walk. When I try and explain it. I feel like people think I am over exaggerating how bad morning sickness makes me feel. Her mother and brother are freaking awesome. Sister-in-law just went into the bedroom and closed the door. My mill just showed up so I am waiting until my mom sees her. No, 
I plan in showing my mom the text when she comes in to check on me. Wait. Your mill called. To fuss at you for involving your mother. The irony is hilarious isn? I agree with the two yes I wasn't even asked to say no. I don't think so. I think they will be going to my in-law's house. Not by their choice. My sis-in-law screamed she isn't living with Mill because she is too controlling of what she does with her kids. Through their bedroom door. I have. He came into our room a couple of hours after our moms showed up. He asked me if I was okay. Looked like he was about to cry himself. I told him I wasn't okay. What he did allowing his brother's family to live here without talking to me about it showed me I am not an equal partner in our relationship. He tried to apologize say it won't happen again. I told him I needed some space to rest and think about things. He is staying in a hotel tonight. We both bought it equally. My dad did tell me he would help me pay my husband back if I want the house in my own name. If I choose to separate from him. I might have. I have to ask my drive again what he called it. I have lost 40 pounds. He told me he is concerned about the weight loss. I have been put on Zofran but it doesn't help. His office is trying to work with our insurance to cover home care so I can do fours at home. I am waiting for that call back. Yes, you are right. Even worse, he's prioritizing his family which, apparently doesn't include OP or the baby. Even worse, he moved them in when she was in the hospital. Guaranteed he was planning this well before she was admitted and jumped at the first chance he could bring them in without her saying no. Absolutely abhorrent behavior from the husband. My family is still here. My mom brought a overnight bag. Thank you for the little updates. We're all fully invested at this point face with tears of joy. We love to see it. Has he said anything to you yet? And what did your very awesome and queenly mom make you? He's only sorry because he got caught treating you like. He's not sorry for disrespecting you or letting his brother's family move in and trash the house. He's only sorry that he looks bad. That level of disrespect and disregard doesn't just go away because your mom and brothers shamed him. This isn't going to get magically fixed before the baby is born. I'd move in with your mom if I were you. It turns out Ops Mill is also on Ops side, now that she's discovered how much her son has lied to her about the actual situation. Mom, brothers and Mill together have got to make a wonderfully terrifying team. My sister had HG, she needed an four throughout her entire pregnancy. She lost so much weight. You're not over-exaggerating. I hope this pregnancy goes by fast for you. If need be, make sure to tell your mill you absolutely could not help your husband clean the house, because to help him he'd have to actually clean in the first place. He simply expected his pregnant and sick wife to cook and clean for two entire families with no backtalk. Also you should totally consider why you're with him. Oh my, mom showdown. Have they spoken yet? Omph if you aren't checking ops updates you are missing out. Turns out BIL lied to Mill, and who boy, has it backfired on him something big. Now Mill is there also, and she's chewing his out and is super at what a mess the house is and how bad the grandkids look. Seriously, go to Ops profile and just keep checking for updates, this is delicious. Which is a huge sign of disrespect and a major red flag. Does he do this a lot? Does he actively treat you like a partner or does he just decide things and you go along to keep the peace? This will not get better, OP if you don't set some major boundaries. Again, that he did this while you were in the hospital. Suggests he knew you didn't agree and wanted to present it as a done deed you couldn't slash wouldn't argue with. Go stay with mom and let him enjoy lying in the, filthy, bed he's made. I'd honestly tell him that you're not coming back until they're gone and your house is as clean as when you left it. If he won't or can't then you know where his priorities are. You're pregnant. The house you describe is unfit to bring a newborn into. Depending on how bad and what country you live in, Child Protective Services could step in. Is your marriage worth potentially losing custody your baby over? BC I can tell you right now that it shouldn't be. That baby has to be your number one priority, and living in a house full of dirty dishes and moldy food ain't it sis. My heart hurts for you but you deserve so much better. What, washing and feeding them? Super controlling. Wait, you have lost 40 pounds and will be on and for and your husband does this. This is so much worse the more we hear. Yep. Any loss over 10% of your body weight while pregnant is usually HG. Please visit the Her Foundation forums for help and advice, and force your husband to read them too. You don't have morning sickness, you have a complication that can lead to miscarriage if not treated. 
http colon slash slash www.hyperemesis.org glad someone else caught that in the hospital with a head injury this dude is not father or husband material anytime anyone tries to come to my door my mom yells at them to get away i am resting and i can't be bothered i have not spoken to my husband my mom is still cooking but i asked for her chicken soup He's only sorry because he got caught treating you like read this a few times until it sinks in. He didn't apologize to you about moving his family in, he told you to it up. He didn't even make arrangements to look after you after you came home from hospital with a head injury, he just created a drama that added more work for you to pick up, and removed a safe home environment. He gets one chance to fix this. 1. If he doesn't come through, it's time to make an exit plan. NTA. He's only sorry because he got caught treating you like. I'd ask why he wasn't sorry six hours ago when you spoke to him about this. He's only apologetic when he has consequences. He has shown you his true colors, the question is are you going to subject yourself and your future child to them? My mom has made it very clear they are not to bother me. This includes my husband. Thank you me too. I know my iron was three. It's supposed to be much much higher. I did get a iron shot when I was brought into the ER. I haven't been able to keep anything down not even water for a while. The audacity to claim OP was not helping the SIL when SIL was tired, after OP was in the hospital for a week. SIL should be the one helping OP. Mill yelling slash talking to my mom outside but I had a hard time hearing what was said. Once my Mill walked inside. She got super angry. I heard her yell at my SIL to get out of her bedroom and clean up after her kids. I am sure there will be more it's only been a little bit. Here is the update, my BIL and his kids went to go stay with my mill. My sill left with her sister. My husband is staying at a hotel tonight. I wanted some space. My and dad are here staying in the guest room. My mom and mill both think I should have people around 24 7 until I can keep food down. He has always been very respectful. It was like a switch went off and he is no longer acting like the loving person I know he is around his brother. Exactly. Sil won't get to lay around in bed on the phone all day. He called me when my mom called him over this situation asking for my brother's help. My dad owns a construction company. My brothers work for him. Thank you I will look into it. Your mom is not a queen, she is an empress. Chicken soup is always a good choice. I know emotions are high right now, but when things chill out you still really need to remember your husband was willing to put his gross relatives above you and your unborn child. It's good you have a gold support system. You are a queen for keeping us so updated. OP, you are severely anemic. No wonder you find it hard to even walk. That's why you were given an iron shot in the ER rather than just instructions to eat more iron rich foods and take a supplement. Adding this piece of info to everything else you've already said makes it clear that you are having really severe complications with this pregnancy. I don't want to freak you out. Nausea, weight loss, anemia, and dehydration can all be managed medically. But you should be doing nothing except resting and receiving medical care. We're all invested in you and your health now. You matter to us. Ooh I bet someone lied to his mommy. Team your mom. I'm officially living and dying for your updates. I think your mom and Mill are right. You could faint again, you need someone to keep an eye on you. And people who will take care of and cherish you right now. I mean this in the nicest way possible but did he start acting this way once you became pregnant? Just checking to make sure you haven't been baby trapped and this is his other side coming out now. I know this may be hard to hear, but I don't think this is about his brother. You're now pregnant with his child and tied to him forever, this is when a lot of abusers show their true colors. It's time for you to start thinking about exit strategies. NTA, in fact I think you are underreacting, which is understandable considering your current health, edit. I want to thank everyone for their awards and for sharing their stories. I know there can be bad feelings attached to some of these memories and I hope OP reads all of them and understands this is unfortunately not a unique situation. For the record OP, I do hope that things aren't as bad as they seem to us outsiders based on this one story, but for your sake and that of your child please at least get a plan in place in case we are correct. Of course mom queen wed an awesome dad. Glad to see you have such brilliant support. Thank you for caring. Yes. Yes my BIL is the one who texted her and he lied. Yep, all sorts of happening now. Mill didn't know he was evicted. Didn't know the house was this bad. Didn't know her grandkids look like they haven't seen a bath in months. Her words not mine. 
All the while his wife is on her phone in the bedroom refusing to come out. I should probably read more Ida in case she is doing the same thing I am. LOL my mom came into my room and asked me what I want to eat. She said she would make anything that sounds good. But emphasized only for me.